Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 30th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have pulled back uh, yet again today. And we are finding support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And uh, at this point, I would not be surprised if we went lower from here. Um, if you look at the technical indicators here, you can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line. The RSI is uh, becoming bearish. The CCI is becoming bearish. And so is the stochastic. So is basically a setup to uh, well very similar to what we saw here so we may if we pass the or break the 20 exponential that opens the door to the 40 exponential at the 1337 and then down to the 50 moving average where we have found this major support uh, several times in the past so right here here and also down here so a pullback towards the 20 uh, the 50 moving average and uh, a turnaround there that is basically a buying opportunity um, yes that is about it um, if we rally from here then of course we will target these highs but i think that these indicators are basically showing or basically screaming at us that we are going to go lower in this currency pair so let's look at the us dollar yen so we have uh, we rallied up towards the fifth um the 20 exponential moving average and then broke down again and this currency pair has basically been doing the same thing for months now we have been in this uh, downward channel since uh, basically the end of march and every time we get uh, close to the upper channel it is basically major resistance every time we get to, to the lower channel it's major support and in between we find uh, major resistance at the 50 and the, and the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average. So it has been, well, uh, very predictable what basically happens in this currency pair. At this point, it looks like we are finding major uh, resistance here at the 20 exponential moving average, and we're about to uh, go lower from here. If you look at the technical indicators, they are also showing barely the same thing. Uh, MACD is basically flat at this point. We're under zero, so it's still bearish um, the rsi is becoming bearish as well but there's not a lot of room to the downside i think if we fall from here then we'll probably find we'll probably find some support around 103 point to 284 this previous lows here it may go lower but i would bet that would basically be the case in this case um, if we are going to go all the way down to the very low of the channel i think that we need a rally up towards at least a 50 moving average in order to do so so the cci is basically flagged the stochastic is turning around and we are running into a major uh, resistance here at the 20 moving average so no interest in basically buying this at this point um, selling it there's a little bit of profit in selling this at this point so let's look at the euro us dollar as you can see, we have rallied. We've uh, the 20 exponential moving average is basically the bottom of this market. So every time we get basically close to that, it's basically time to buy. We are on the edge of being overbought. We're at 66, so there's not a lot of room to the upside. So if we manage to take out these previous lows, which we found are uh, are resistant at this point, and then we are going to go higher. I do favor uh, this um, currency pair. To go higher it uh, the us dollar is just going to get weaker and weaker weaker and um, and therefore this will just go continuously higher if you look at technical indicators they are very bullish at this point all of them we are running into the upper part of the bullinger band here and we can see that we have pulled back quite significantly and at this point I would not be surprised if we fall back towards the 20 exponential moving average stay there for a, for a while and then had a rally to the upside so no interest basically in selling this there's a massive amount of um, of support underneath and i do favor the upside in this currency pair so let's look at the aussie dollar us dollar and it is the same thing here 20 exponential is basically the bottom of this market 
every single time we get basically close to that, we can just see yesterday what happened when we got close to that. It basically rallied and we continue to rally today. Technical indicators, they are all fairly bullish. We're about zero here in the MACD. We're still underneath the signal line. So, so just keep that in mind. There's not a lot of room to the upside. We're at 62 in the, in the RSI and the, the CCI is basically flat at this point. And so is the, the stochastic. So we may go trading sideways. If we get the 20 exponential, we'll move this way and we'll trade sideways and then we'll go higher. That's what I think is going to happen in this currency pair. We have seen this move several times before. We saw it right here. And we saw it also right here that we just trade sideways until we basically hit the 20 exponential and then we basically take off. So no interest in basically selling this. Every single time it basically falls closer to the 20, I am willing to buy into this currency pair. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. So this has been a uh, fairly profitable trade. Um, we have been in a downtrend for a very long time now, all the way back to uh, well, uh, end of March as well. Um, and the 50 and the 40 uh, moving averages have been a major resistance. So we started selling around this area here and we are basically uh, targeting these very lows here. And I think just given en enough time, we are going to get to these lows and probably lower than that. If you look at the technical indicators, we are below zero here in the MACD. We are above the signal line, but it looks like we are about to round off and go uh, target the signal line probably one or two trading dives from now. There's a lot of room to the downside. So we are at 57 in the RSI. There's a lot of room to the downside. And that could mean that we are going to crush um, or basically break through this um, previous resistance support line here and go significantly lower. Sarcastic is bearish. The RSI is bearish. The CCI is bearish. And um, here we can see there's a lot of room to the lower part of the Bollinger Band, which is basically these previous um, support levels. So not buying this at all. I'm basically selling this every single time we basically rally up towards the 20 moving average at this point. I am about to sell even more. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.